Hello friends, uh, it's the Indian walking monk. We are in Nalanda, the archaeological survey of India. As you can see, uh, they have put the... We are in Nalanda. That's, that's Nalanda. The, and right ahead is the, is the university that used to be... Uh, that used to be... Uh, and uh, the Buddhist university that used to be in those days. Uh, and uh, this is where the uh, the uh, the Mahayan um, the uh, the um, Mahayan, Mahayanists and other other people used to study. In fact, uh, the revival of Mahayana uh, was uh, was done by a scholar from this university, uh, right right ahead. Um, that his name was um, um, his name was Acharya Nagarjuna. Uh, from he was actually from the Andhra Pradesh, um, a Brahmin, a Brahmin from Andhra Pradesh, and he suddenly, um, suddenly became one day a, 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 a Buddhist, uh, say in the Mahayana priests, and the Sanskritized uh, uh, Buddhism that was there. So the the phenomena of Sanskritization. Uh, was was uh, was uh, of course happening even in the even in the uh, as you can see here on the on the right side on the right side is the Sarai 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 Tila at Sarai Mound and and some mandir some temple on the other side and of course the office is on the other side um, I don't know my my camera is not so good uh, in this uh, this one so uh, in fact. Uh, <coughs> Uh, the, the 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 authorities here did not say anything about the the mobile phone. I just asked them, uh, and they told, uh, "Oh, do you do you have a video camera and like that?" So I told, "I don't have." So in fact, uh, so right ahead is the is the monasteries monasteries at that time and the temple. So that will be right ahead. So it's one of the wonderful places that uh, the Buddhist places that uh, that, uh, uh, that anybody could could uh, could actually see. This is from the is a World Heritage List. Uh, let me show it. That's on the World Heritage List, right? So so the w World Heritage Committee has inscribed uh, the archaeological site of Nalanda uh, Mahavihara. Nalanda University at Nalanda on the on the World Heritage List uh, inscription on this list call, uh, co confirms the outstanding uh, universal value of the cultural or natural property uh, which um, which uh, requires uh, which requires protection for the benefit of all humanity in the 19 and this is the UNESCO logo. And this is the uh, uh, this is the archaeological society of India, so that's all, friends. So no, no, uh, maybe I I I know that we know that we are archaeologists. Hai. <coughs> so uh, this is in Braille. This is in the Braille for the uh, for the for the blind people to to know something. So this is the uh, Nalanda. So let's let's first. Uh, Let's try, try to track the uh, track the uh, its a, a prominence in the fifth century. In the fifth century, that's right, fifth century A.D. It was in the fifth century A.D. Uh, that was where that was when the uh, Mahayana actually took uh, took a seating and uh, took a higher stand. In fact, uh, <coughs> uh, in fact, the uh, the um, uh, I'm not able to uh, take a fo uh, take a full. Uh, I will take a photo of this. Yeah, uh, twin photos. So let's go uh, inside, friends. That these are the things that we can see. That's around. It just goes to the to the end of it up to yeah, right up to there. And then goes uh, goes further actually goes further. It's a it's a very big university. In those days, uh, and then here is the entrance. Uh, here is the entrance, and then it it just keeps going, uh, and then I think it finishes up to there. So, uh, so we are at the entrance, friends. <coughs> so. <coughs>
there is heavy uh, security over here so so it's uh, it's about 5th 5th century AD that was what uh, that was when the these uh, these things were nahi ji i'm archaeology archaeologist humko sab pata hai so um so this uh, these bricks as you can see it looks a bit newer so and friends uh, this is the monastery number 5 so um, all right so as you can see we are not allowed to go uh, inside uh, uh, this is the barrage that they have put uh, the wooden barrage so that's the there's the pathway and there are there are rooms probably on either side and then and then a pathway goes up and what is there up i i don't understand so in fact <clears throat> in fact uh, uh you can see the 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 breadth of the wall the thickness of the wall the thickness of the wall will be a bit more than 1 1 meter and uh, and uh, so so here is a is a dog that has played with the uh see there so uh, this dog has played with water and uh, This is the ruins of Nalanda. So, in fact, uh, the the bricks that were laid uh, that were laid down, uh, as you can see, it is uh, it must be of a greater uh, a bit um, bit square type and long, and and thickness is good. So it's it's uh, it's it's fantastic, and um, the tradition. so <clears throat> this might have helped the had the brahmins to sanskritize the buddhism at all so in fact uh, this is the structure that you can see from behind right so the people uh, the people here are or just uh, have visited and just they are leaving so this is the one structure here so and um, there there lies the monastery number 1 Okay, monastery number five we have seen, and let's first see the monastery number five. In fact, there are lots to see here, on the on the that side, and then that other right that side right ahead, and then there goes a pathway. Uh, I don't know what that is. So, in fact, the uh, monastery is uh, here. First, before going inside, so let's let's just um, uh, see the monastery number one. So that's 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 right here. so you can remember the such structures we have seen uh, in other places um, that i have visited in in uh, in, uh, in sarnath and uh, and other places so so and uh, this is the uh, monastery number 1 so in fact uh, uh, what i can say is uh, uh, and then uh, what what i heard from the local people is i think this is where the water you, they used to store water for drinking for the monks uh, and and the students who studied here the scholars here there might have been uh, a buddha statue for here uh, right ahead right in this in this uh, area so as you can see the the area is uh, uh is is right uh is uh, is correctly for 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 placing a, an idol uh, and uh, uh, something some god or some especially buddha at the time that's right ahead and the, here we have the water and probably people might have might have um, drank this water and the water connects through that small hole to the other big one right so probably uh, the rain water was collected uh, in this probably that's what i think and then let's go inside and uh, <sighs> they have put uh, the wooden floor here to walk maybe the floor is uh, 
having some problems. So this this is a chamber for some for some people to stay for students to stay. I think at that time is another chamber. Yes, let's just go inside and inspect one chamber. Uh, in fact, uh, you can see. I think this is water chamber only. The water hole. You can see the water water hole comes here, and there must have been water here for drinking. So. <coughs> And uh, drinking and bathing. So these are chambers. Let's let's inspect these chambers right here. One, two. On the left side, there are chambers. Let's go inside. Uh, that's for the students to stay. Yes, that that's the one. So uh, I we don't know what was there on top on top to cover the sunlight, but in fact um, the wall is too too high and and uh, it was it must have been very good for studying. And uh, in fact, the locals told that uh, the university, uh, all the documents from this university, was uh, uh, was was actually burnt, uh, burnt from by the by by somebody, um, conspirators. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, conspiracy has happened uh, against the Theravada, uh, Theravada Buddhism, and uh, Theravada because uh, it, it it never used Sanskrit. It used the uh, 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 the Pali language, which was the language or the Magadhi language, the Magadhi or the, or the uh, language of the Magadha dynasty at that time. The Magadha dynasty is the uh, so so the uh, that language was used, and these are the chambers. So uh, in fact, the Brahmins might have become very angry uh, because of this. Buddha Buddha, in fact, didn't accept the uh, accept the let's touch this uh, accept the sanskrit language at all so uh, in fact uh, uh, buddha didn't accept that uh, sanskrit was a scholarly language but pali was a scholarly language in in the sight of buddha and buddha uh, in fact uh, he he already has proved that the the concepts these these are the stones small small stone structures the pillar over there so the uh, <clears throat> I don't know what was there here let's just go up and see this is a pillar here no inscription is there in fact uh, there is only the uh, breakage of the uh, breakage the cracks of the uh, because of rain and other uh, elements so the it's it's quite quite amazing uh, and in fact this was an university so um perhaps uh, in the in those chambers there there must have been uh, uh lots of uh, lots of palm leaf books in those days uh, the palm leaf was used for 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 that's me so this is me uh, and uh, uh and um, they might have kept uh kept them to preserve to preserve all the books um, and in fact here there is a small chamber this must uh, this chamber is a bit uh, uh, <coughs> not mixed up and there is a plinth probably there must have been a, a Buddha uh, that was kept here a Buddha statue that was kept here so and um, as you can see this is a stone uh, plinth in fact uh, I don't know from where they have removed it. So this is a sort of some some sort of structure that this is the passage where they used to walk it seems. And uh, let's go down and just walk and see. And uh, before walking down, let's just go up. Uh, there are um, there are people who is it's very hot and I didn't take my cap, so. I actually forgot my cap. This is um, this is the well that that, that they used to uh, uh, drink water from. That's what that's what I think. It's um, oh, it it is uh, it is very deep, of course, but no water is there, as you can see. There are coins inside. That's all uh, uh, with regard to this. Uh, uh, and there is a pillar over there, broken. Yes. So let's just go up and uh, and see this chamber. This chamber must have been a small library 
or a group study room and the top is like this so so and uh, here my there might uh, there, there must have been a, Bu a buddha statue here and here too there is a small uh, i think book storage room the the room must have been uh, full of um, palm leaf books uh, at that time so let's yeah here it's 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 a bit deep so let's um let's go down from the other side so here <clears throat> i'm very astonished that uh, uh here we i i just saw a small uh um this um uh uh, what to say the <clears throat> the lizard like thing here and um, perhaps uh, they they had uh, uh, they had uh, uh, destroyed they had tried uh, their level best to destroy the uh, Theravada uh, books by uh, by actually uh, by actually um, yeah so by actually burning them, all of them, this is a this is a sitting place. Monks might have, might have sat here for meditation or or for reading. So and uh, we don't know what this is. Uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, gap between these two. Probably the water might have washed and gone through that uh, that particular hole. And uh, during the rainy days, that's the hole through which water might have flown out. So that's all, friends. So and uh, and uh, let's go up. So, friends, um, um, I think this is the way we came inside. And we will go out through this. This is, uh, I think, the the the, the set of chambers of uh, number one. Uh, in fact, let's let's go let's go forward. We didn't see this. We saw the chambers, uh, the the student or Mosulian monk chambers. Oh, so, uh, in in Buddhism, as you can see, study is uh, the primary motive, and after study comes the in fact there is a there is a chamber that that separates uh, one room from another there is a, probably a storage area over there um and here there, mu there must have been the buddha statue there over there and here are the entrance too so uh, and friends um oh it's quite amazing um here there is a rock uh, kind of thing and there are lots of uh, stone uh, structures here that is broken and uh, let's go inside this inside this one so let us see what is inside and uh, as you can see uh, there is a it's probably a temple i think this is the place where they, were. they used to keep three Bud buddhas probably one two and three um to the height of a uh, of more than a, um, a grown up man so and they used to pray probably they used to just kneel down here and, and then pray before going to study and uh, morning and evening they used to chant somewhere around here anywhere around here and um uh, in fact in mahayana there must have been priest if if it was mahayana so in theravada we don't have any type of priest so um that's it friends so these are the monk chambers that was there in the was there before is the nalanda university so we are in nalanda university so <coughs> i really wonder what was there up uh, up above uh, over the ceiling uh, for ceiling uh, purposes uh, for for the safety from sunlight and uh, and rain, I really wonder so. So okay, friends, let's go 
I think the monk chambers of the I think the temple number one temple or uh, that's that's right ahead uh, let us these are the monk chambers on the on the left now when we came inside it was on the right so it's uh, um, uh, it's quite amazing and uh, uh, so friends um, uh, I, I don't know what to tell but um, but I'm quite impressed um, impressed on how the how the uh, uh, how the studies were taking place in those days so I, I don't think uh, I think this is where we came from uh, this is uh, that's where we came from the wooden the wooden area as you can see and uh, so let's go up there is a there's a place to go up so and it just ends abruptly down below there are lots of uh, uh, plastic bottles that's put here i don't know what was there here so and uh, okay friends so let's go out and um, have a look at the other um, uh, other structures on the other side so This is the walls that, uh, and as you can see, this was the structure that we saw before. And let's go inside, and you can see here yeah, there is a, there is there must have been a, a Buddha so that, was, that was kept here, and this is the place where there, there must have been some water or a place to study. So, so. So <clears throat> the Brahmins had, uh, in fact, uh, already uh, tried their best to infiltrate the uh, Theravada uh, domain, and um, and this is where we came from. So, as I told before, this must have been a place to store water. So. Uh, Let's go. Uh, so this was monastery number one. As I told, it was um, it was uh, not temple number one, but monastery number one, right? So these are the uh, these are the people who came here and uh, so for coming here. So um, I don't know. Sir, uh, so, 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 so from here we can see, friends, that um, mm, the uh, the uh, central industrial uh, police force um, um, personnel told me that we cannot go inside. As you can see, this is this is uh, by the archaeological. Uh, I think the the United Nations and. Uh, so combinedly, the Archaeological Society of India have uh, or are trying to preserve this one. In fact, this is a Mahayana structure only. I think there is a votive stupa over this side that we will see later. So let's just finish uh, this structure. So as you can see, so these are all uh, structures, and there are stupas over there. That I will zoom now, right now. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, that's a notive stupa. One, two, three, and uh, it's very hot here, and I'm not able to uh, able to stand long in the in the sun. In fact, uh, I'm happy to happy to see, of course, these things. This, this says temple number three, right? So these are Mahayana structures. And just opposite uh, is this is this passage where we will go and see all these things, but before that we will finish this one. So there you can see that uh, you can see the the Buddha structure. Wait, let me zoom in. Oh, yes, I think. Uh, hmm. 
there you can see a Buddha Buddha there and then right behind I somewhere around here so I'm a bit um, uh, I have to be careful I should that I should not get sunstroke um, so that's uh, that's the structure yeah that's these are the structures in the Nalanda University in, in Bihar in in uh, um, in Bihar yeah so these these places uh, must must have been the um, have been quite important uh, in the Buddhist era in the Buddhist time Buddha's times so uh, but not the Buddha's time uh, but after that but after that the uh, the the Brahmins uh, actually wanted to capture the uh, the, the the money flow into the Theravada Buddhism that flourished and uh, and then converted into Mahayana. That's what they have done. So it's quite. Uh, uh, let's go behind. Let's go behind. In fact, uh, uh, it's so hot uh, that uh, uh, one might uh, one could one can get. Uh, um, these were the lots of uh, votive stupas that's there. Um, here is a sitting place. Let's just uh, sit for a second. Oh yes, that's, that's the structure in front of us. It's quite amazing. These are the votive stupas over there, and the and the and there you can see the. Uh, there you can see the people coming, uh, the tourists coming uh, after seeing the backside of this uh, stupa, big stupa. Uh, this is a stupa, of course, and it has uh, uh, the structure has changed. So, the local people are sitting here. Uh, lots of votive stupas are around here. They're just behind the, the front of it. There are lots of votive stupas. Yes. So, and the structure is quite different from from before. And uh, it's uh, as you can see, it's fifth century A.D. It is not quite old. This is the time when the when the Mahayana uh, took a, took a high stand. In fact, uh, the the Mahayana, Mahayana, Mahayanist Brahmins uh, joined hands with the with the uh, with the kings at the time, probably, and um, and must have must have beheaded, uh, uh, must have been um, in. And from here, you can see the fields around here. Yeah, these are the fields. So let's just go a bit. Can you go inside? No. So it's, it's open here, but uh, they say I cannot go inside. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the stupa from behind. Um, and I will zoom in. Uh, so uh, as you can see, in the, there is a white structure over there. There you can see there is Buddha, of course. There is Buddha sitting there. Yeah, there is Buddha's statue. So, friends, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And uh, in that stupa, that stupa is quite uh, artistic. And uh, these votive stupas are not oft, are not much artistic in nature. And uh, so let's now. Uh, let's, uh, we need a little bit of shade to stand. Oh, yes, as you can see. Now I uh, get a little bit shade here. So let's just uh, zoom in to uh, in this uh, stupa. As you can see, there is Buddha here. Yeah, now it's very clear. Now it's very clear. So, 
it's very autistic uh, in the down also it's buddha so um so friends uh yeah so others or the or the ot stupas around here so let's go more <laughs> <clears throat> so in Bodh Gaya what has happened is um, uh, the archaeological survey of India and the UNESCO should should actually try to protect that uh, that place very much but uh, they don't do it and uh, and there are structures on that side I don't know I'm allowed to go or not so um kaise is side mein ja sakte hai to tuba dobara us side mein jana hai ye is side mein ha is side jal jaye acha so this might this might have been the draining water draining method water collecting method probably around this uh, uh, around this two pass around so friends um these are the structures that that remains and uh, this is again as you can see um these are again the the, the monk chambers the monk student student monk chambers and that's the main stupa the chamber for for the teaching probably and um, then the main hall in the evenings maybe or in the mornings day times they might have to taught something around here so so we are just walking uh, in the in the outer rim of the outer edge of this uh, this uh, monastery here just uh, just in front of us there is a, there is a passageway that goes around here so let's try to go and see and uh, i i do think that they may not allow i allow me to go out through this way because there is a there is a um, there is a, something like a gate over over there So let's go back friends. So this is Nalanda and the Indian walking monk in in Nalanda University the the uh, the archaeological finds uh, indicate this this is the place. So this place uh, is quite exquisite and lots of uh, even the Chinese monks like Huan Xuang and some other uh, Chinese pilgrims uh, who monk who monks who came out from China described this place as was a fantastic place to study and there was uh, uh, there used to be linguistic uh, uh, linguistic uh, the pali linguistic tradition and of course the sanskrit tradition sanskrit uh, uh, the the mahayanist uh, brahmanistic tradition that that might have uh, evolved around this place and uh, it's quite amazing and um, <coughs> so in fact this is the first time uh and it says here the monastery number 4 that's the yes some around here that's, that's the one i think behind us from there we are coming from there this is the same same thing we will trace trace ahead to to our place so um and also my uh the the mobile battery my mobile battery is draining out a bit faster faster so uh, i have to uh, it's very hot and and the heat uh, also heat of the day of the sun uh, also uh, helps to drain the battery very soon i think um i don't know it's nokia nokia i don't think what what battery they have technology i don't understand it's quite bad and uh, i hope nokia can replace my my phone itself and bring in a good phone for free um <clears throat>
So this is the structure, friends, uh, that we came to saw, that we came to see before. So, um, in fact, in the hot sun, we need a lot of energy to to actually uh, visit this place and we have to drink lots of water. The airport is just uh, around the corner, the hot summer of April of India, of the northern India, of the whole of India actually, is right, right around the corner. And uh, just now I have finished the, the uh, I think we have to go straight ahead through this way to, to see that those structures over there and uh, and here is the water uh, drinking water over here so let's taste the drinking water here In fact, uh, this is all that they can give. The, the water is not tasty enough. And uh, I don't think they have installed a machine to filter out the um, <coughs> filter out the impurities of the water. So, yeah, eh? हम हमारा ए, एक मिनट में देख के आ जाता हूँ सात में भी चलते हाँ ये ना ये चीवर डाल देता हूँ चीवर डालना है डाल देता है तो फ्रेंड्स वी विल आई विल टर्न ऑफ द कैमरा राइट नाउ दे वांट टू टेक अ वीडियो ऑफ मी एंड लेट्स लेट्स डू इट आफ्टर सम टाइम थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स